Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to quickly check a refresher charge with a digital manifold gauge set. This is the Fieldpiece S Man 460, and this system that we're hooked to is an air conditioning only condenser, and it's R22 refrigerant side. So we have the R22 selected right there at the top. You have a selection of 45 different refrigerants right there. We have a high side pressure right here of 178 PSIG. This manifold gauge set will go ahead and change that to a saturated temperature in the middle of the condenser coil, and it's giving us a reading of 93 degrees right there. We have a liquid line temp sensor attached to the liquid line, and that's reading 83 degrees. The target on the rating plate of this outdoor unit, if you look up on the rating plate, it says a target subcooling of 10 degrees. If your rating plate's gone and it's an air conditioning system, uh, then you're probably looking at a target of around 11 degrees of subcooling. Anywhere from 8 to 12 degrees, I like to set them at about 11 if there is no uh, rating there. We know we have to check the system in subcooling because we have a thermostatic expansion valve at the inlet of the evaporator coil. If we had a fixed orifice like this right here is a piston inside this piston chamber or in a capillary tube, uh, then we would check the refrigerant charge in superheat. But since this system has a TXV, we just check our high side pressure, our pressure right there, converted to saturated temperature. Then we have saturated temperature minus liquid line temperature, and we end up with a subcooling, an actual subcooling of 10 degrees. So on our rating plate, it says a target of 10 degrees, so our refrigerant level is good on here. The only other thing we want to check for is on our low side, which we have our vapor uh, line. Uh, right here we have our blue hose connected to our vapor line and we're checking our temperature right here. We want to make sure that the saturated temperature in the evaporator coil is above 32 degrees. We can also tell that the TXV is operating correctly because it's maintaining a superheat between 10 and 14 degrees. You may end up with a little bit higher of a superheat, but uh, maybe 16 degrees or something like that, but that is good. The TXV is operating correctly. Our evaporator cool is not freezing, and we have our correct subcooling reading. Now, if this system had a subcooling reading of, say, 20 degrees of subcooling or 16 degrees of subcooling, and on our rating plate we're supposed to have 10, then that means the refrigerant level is overcharged, and we would need to recover the refrigerant into a recovery tank. So, not all of it, just enough in order to lower the refrigerant level inside the outdoor unit. That could be done while the system's on with the high side pressure coming through your gauge and through your yellow hose and into your recovery tank. If the subcooling reading was reading say five degrees of subcooling and your target's 10, then we would need to add refrigerant and your refrigerant would get added into the low side because your bottle pressure is higher pressure than your low side. So it'll go from your refrigerant bottle right into your low side. So you add it a little bit at a time until your subcooling reading reaches around 10 degrees of subcooling. So anywhere between 7 to 13 degrees of subcooling when you have a target of 10 is good. I like to have it a little bit higher than whatever the target is. So if the target says 10, I like to have it at maybe 11 or 12 degrees. But right now we are at exactly what we're calling for, so that refrigerant level is good. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. I also have the S-Man 460 calibration video. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at EEC Service Tech Channel.